Hey guys, this is Chandler from Red Arrow Industries. Today I'm going to show you how to set up email notifications for renders, exports, or consolidations of transcodes in Avid Media Composer. So let's get started. Go to your Settings tab and scroll down to Email. Double click on that to open up the Email Settings window. So you'll need to know your SMTP server information. This can be found several ways. I have my email set up on my iPhone and was able to find this information by going into my iPhone email settings. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that information now. Next, you want to check the Authenticate with Username and Password box and enter your email, username, and password. And I use SSL for my email, so I will check the Use SSL box. Next, you need to enter your email settings. First, the from name. So in my case, I have these set up on multiple computers. So I'll enter edit six, which will immediately tell me which computer this notification is coming from. The from address doesn't really matter, so you can just make one up. And finally, the to address, which will be your address. Next, you'll want to select which events you would like to be notified upon completion of. For me, I use these to notify me when long consolidations or transcodes are complete or when exports are complete. So I will select export complete and consolidate or transcode complete. And finally, and most importantly, you have to check enable sending of email. And I would suggest go ahead and having it send a test email so you can verify that it's working and that you've entered all your information properly. So let's do that now. And it'll tell you, if you do not receive an email in a few minutes, please check the console for a log. In my experience, you should receive an email immediately. So let's go ahead and pull up my email. And there you go. There's our test message from edit6. It says your mail settings work. Now we'll just name the setting. And remember, this is a user setting, so you will only receive notifications when using this particular user profile. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. If this tutorial was helpful, like and subscribe to our page. If there are any other tutorials you'd like to see, go ahead and put them in the comments. If you'd like to visit us on Facebook, we're at Red Arrow Industries, or go to our website at redarrowindustries.com.